Welcome back everyone to the Figma tutorial. In this short course, I will explain you the features of Figma and how to design a website. So the Figma is a cloud-based tool which is used for uh, designing. Okay, the designers and developers use it to design, to create uh, user interfaces, websites and mobile apps and many more. So it is the main features are like this is free tool everyone can use it individually and um, it is uh, uh, browser based it means in all platform uh, uh, we can windows and uh, even mobile and other we can use it and the third thing that it is a collaboration it means uh, our team can work on a project at the same time the collaboration and other features that the Figma has so now let's uh, we would like to just uh, create a website and a simple uh, design to show you how you can use the Figma tool just in a few minutes so just stay until the end of the video so you will learn how to use the Figma tool so let's start whenever you open Figma website so create your account if you don't have so after creating your account you will paste with the, uh, this interface so here press a new design file okay we would like to uh, open a new file in this file this is the design okay this is the design and the user interface of figma very simple that you can use a can design website mobile app and other user interfaces very simple so now let's start okay for example we want to design a website a gallery app in that gallery app we have three uh, areas the first part is now bar the second part is the gallery the last part is footer so now let's start okay so for the first thing that you need to do is to take a page individual page okay for the desktop we are because we are designing a website so i will take a page for website so for that come here to the frame you can press f also so select this frame after selecting that frame at the right side you will see the properties is this for mobile for tablet or desktop presentation watch paper what is this okay for which thing you would like to design this this frame so as we are designing a website so i will select this tab in this tab i will select okay here the, just select the desktop so after selecting look at this is the uh, uh, 1440 and uh, 1024 is the size so this is a page individual page for our website now let's start okay you can increase the size and decrease the size how much you need okay like this the page size so now in this page i would like to have three parts okay the first part is now bar but before the now bar let's assign grid to this system okay the grid system it means that we will design uh, our um, elements through grid system because that is for responsiveness and also for pick sizing let's uh, come here select this frame so after selecting that come here and find grid system okay look at layout grid add one so after adding that select this grid and here we will select column because we would like to do based on column so we will assign 12 column based on 12 column as in website we have 12 columns so after assigning that look at the fixed size of the columns but if you want to just how fighting from right and left side so for that you can come here and bring it to the center and assign size to every column so i will assign 75 to every column so that's it okay at the right and left side we have a free area free space so this was our frame okay so now let's start okay the first thing is the first part is a now bar so for the now bar come here to the this area and here i will take a shape rectangle okay this rectangle you can select r also select this rectangle and design it let's for example we have now bar this is a now bar for us size like this now for the second part which is uh, 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 gallery area so for that press alt and down it okay so to duplicate that after duplicating that just increases it also duplicate it once again for footer bring it for footer but let's increase the size of this one gallery come here and bring this footer at the, to the end and now just size up this okay so now let's okay we have these three rectangles now in these rectangles we will just whatever we want so we will draw them. for example here at the left side we have a logo at the right side we would like to have the links so let's do it okay let's first of all select this text okay after selecting that so here i will like for example you can place your logo image also here but i will place just write something okay like logo so after writing that now let's increase the size and the font whatever we want so we can do so just come here to the text area here increase the size 
like this is the size here we can select bold it let bold and here change the font and change the font like this so let's now move it back to the uh, center okay like this at the center so this is our logo section now at the right side we will have navigation links so for like links again take the text text for example we would like to have four links so for four links let's have the first link here let's decrease the size oh this is the first link okay that we have so let's bring it to the center and press alt and duplicate it press alt and duplicate it this art in like we have these four links let's change the names uh, this is like contact about galleries so these are the links that we have this was now let's assign background color to this now bar so let's select this fill so in this field we will just assign a color for example assign uh, color yeah and we will just change the color to white so okay. let's change this to white Change all to white color, assign white color. So that's it. Okay, so this was our gallery and uh, no bar. So after designing this, now here we will have images. Okay, so we would like to place images here. So let's first of all write something at the center gallery. We will just place it at the center. Come here to the navigation, it should be at the center. And now let's change the text, the text to the size like 32. Get bold, that is okay. Font also bring it here, center. So that's it. Now, down from this, here I would like to place images. So, to place images for those, let's take now a uh, other rectangles let's take the first rectangle so the first rectangle will be like here is that like this okay in this first rectangle i will just take an image so let's come here and uh, or i will just assign uh, if you want to take an image yeah first of all i will come here fill after coming to the fill here select you can ask uh, just put a pick a um, video or image so let's select an image so here press this choose button to take an image image so after selecting that uh, close it so you can select other images also so let's now duplicate it alt and bring it like here here we can just assign uh, another image or we can just change the background color okay, i will just assign a color okay this color that's it now let's duplicate it again that's it now let's assign another color okay you can take an image also let's duplicate it again i will assign color to the that's it so now let's duplicate it down also this one alt bring it down that is all about a gallery okay you can assign images as you want so after assigning these images and creating a gallery now down from that we will have a footer okay let's change the you can change the, this background also for example you want to assign this color to the background. now let's uh, here we want to assign first of all a background color to this footer 
for example this one so here at the right uh, at the center here we will have a text let's select the text here we will have just a copy sign first of all like 2024 all right preserved let's just come here to the text and make it like 16 and you can change the text color gray color and bring it like it make it at the center okay to align it come here and select the center so center so that's how you can assign you can select how many images i can icons whatever you want okay so you can design something like this now let's remove grades okay just come here to select this desktop and after that come into the grid and remove it so that's how it looks like okay this is our design look at final design looks like this so it is just a simple tutorial that i showed you how you can design a website um in figma so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel in next videos we will have more videos about how to design in figma uh our different designs in our so mobile apps so keep um and just uh, press that notification icon also for other videos thanks for watching